Yo guys, what's up Shatter here and welcome to VR Sunday. Today we're playing a very colorful looking game called Gun Chain. This is a game I would best describe as back in the day I used to play games like these on these old Flash game websites. And if I've seen this correctly, then there is, as you can see, like a chain of colorful balls that you have to shoot with the corresponding colorful guns. At least that's how I understood it. Now, this game can be played with keyboard and mouse or in VR, in standing mode or seated mode. Apparently, we're gonna do it standing because why not? So let's just rock on into here and... Ooh, okay, select a new file to play on. Okay, destroy orbs by matching three orbs of the same color. Oh yeah, so the gun will shoot an additional orb that will then fit in between those pow... How? It's easy, it's a match 3 game. Very, very simple. Hold down on your gun hand to bring up the targeter and release to move. Hold on. Oh, down, sorry. Oh yeah, that's the teleport, I see. And with um, up, I seem to change color. Okay, let's move over here. Oh god. You can rotate by physically turning your body. No, really. <laughs> Or by pressing left and right on your gun hand. Very simple. Well, as you know, my controller is a little bit busted, so... I will be turning, uh, normally. Where do I need to go? Oh, okay. So we now have to... Oh, gee. How do we get over there? Hold down on your glove hand to bring up the targeter and aim at the warp point. Ah, okay. So these are predefined warp points, which we can go. Okay. Hold your gun. Your gun holds two colors. Sometimes you will need to swap between them. Press up on your gun hand to swap. Pow! Orbs will roll towards the portal. To win the round, you must destroy all of the orbs before they reach a portal. Yeah, it's a very simple game concept, as you might be able to tell. Pow! There we go. Destroy your orbs with charge, charge your fireball. Look at your left hand. With your left hand, take aim and press the trigger button. Oh, see, there's... So we'll fire. Pow! And that will explode everything. And we're the winner! Yay! Okay, that was a good tutorial. I think we know what, how this goes. Um, as, I, as I said, um, this is a super easy game from a concept standpoint. Um, but I kind of like these puzzle games, especially to, to you know, like, pass the time. I do like these. Oh, we only have blue, huh? Pow, pow, pow. Okay. And we only have orange as well. That's already it. So this is the first level. Super easy. But I want to see how crazy... Oh. Hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Oh, whoops. I wanted to go into the middle there. All right. Let's see. Uh, we only have blue, so we'll do this. Uh, pong. Pow. And hold on. We do have green, so we'll get that one. Get that. Uh, let's shoot it on that. Let's get this out of here. The red one. Yellow. Green. Yellow. You know, it also kind of reminds me on a, of a very, very old game I used to play back on like the PlayStation 1, I think it, it was. Um, called Bust the Move. Where you basically, you did the kind of the same thing, but it was 2D and you shot upwards at a... Um, most of the time an already existing set of uh, balls or bubbles in that case so yeah and again I don't know if I would would have bought this if it was purely um, keyboard driven oh that okay that um, but I don't know I, I feel VR is kind of cool for these uh, to re-experience these kind of flash mini games from your past you know what I mean oh that was terrible 
And the things, I mean, the game itself, it looks pretty sweet, it is colorful as all heck. And right now it's obviously not very difficult, as you can see. Oh, I wanted to... Okay. Oh, now I accidentally added the blue one again. There we go. And swoop! Fire! Where do we go now? Oh. Okay. Oh, Jesus, um, what do we do? Scanning enemy threat detected. Attack formation one What? What did he do? Is this like a boss enemy? Okay. Oh, no, okay, he... That was the end of this... Part? If you wanna call it that? Okay. Very, very interesting. <laughs> Um, right, let's see what the next level does. I hope it's getting a little bit more difficult and faster, because that was very easy. Also, the music is wild. It's kind of like a drunken Mozart there in the background. Critical orb. Sometimes your gun will begin to spark. This means you have a critical orb loaded. Critical, critical orbs count as two and can be matched with a single orb in the chain. Ah, I see. Okay. Right, here we go. 85 balls to get rid of. Okay, it's already moving a little bit fast. So that's cool. Let's get that out of here. Uh, all right, right, right. Blue, orange again. I'd love to have some, oh nice, that was a good combo. We have some yellow to go with that, and combo, yes! Green, let's see, we... oh, we have a fireball, pow, yes! Get that green guy, let's see if we can get that orange dude out of there with a combo shot, that would be kind of cool. Let's get another red one, and let's get a... Green. Uh, let's get another green, and that's a combo as well. Nice, nice. That was a super combo. All right. Oh, big blue, big blue. All right. Also, I don't think they start moving unless um, the the back end that is moving connects to them again. I think that's how that works. However, I'm not 100% sure. Alright, let's get another one here. Boom, triple orange. Waiting for a, yeah, for a green one, perfect. And that will connect as well. Sweet! Um, that green there behind the, the pillar is a bit annoying, but uh, we'll get it. Let's change that. Okay, I don't know how long we have to do this. Oh, let's just, you know what, let's just nuke that. Why not? Let's get this one, that will combo again. Woo, mega combo, baby! That's how we charge our fireball. Now it seems like we're out of balls. So get that out of there and booyah! Mm -mm -mm. Also, I kind of love the port. So you can see all this way it's traveling. That's how far we could have let the orbs travel. Until they reach the portal. Okay, next level. Easy peasy. Okay. So here we have... Oh, it's more like a shooting gallery. I kind of like this. All right, um, you know what? Let me just try something here. I want to do like a big combo if I can. Ooh, massive red. Very nice. Okay, now we can combo here. Booyah! Let's see if we can hit over. Yeah, okay, you have to aim a little bit to, to get like over the front balls. That makes sense. Well, okay, that was terrible. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like that. Boom! Easy peasy. Uh, let's get that guy. We have the fireball. 
Booyah! Lost a nice hole into that. I haven't had yet a sparking one, or maybe I haven't seen it yet. I have to say, maybe I missed it. Nice, that retreated it quite a lot there with this shot. And... Ow! No! Oh, okay. That's not what I wanted to do, actually. Um, yeah, let's get that one. Let's... Let's get red for now, until that green one comes over from the... You know what, let's spend the two greens on that. Blue on that, fireball. Green. Yellow. Easy. Easy, but likable. I have to say, this is... I don't know because of the guns, but this might again be an interesting game for kids, especially the beginning here. It's very easy. But then again, it is guns shooting, so you have to kind of, you know, know yourself if you want to have your kids shooting with guns. Even if it's balls, colorful balls at other colorful balls. But, you know, there's people who don't like that kind of stuff, so, you know, must, you must kind of decide for yourself, I suppose. Yeah, I like the music as well. The visuals, the music. You know, it's not a groundbreaking concept, this game. But it is kind of cool. You know, the way it is made. It's very well made, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, oh boy, okay. Okay. Now that's a lot. Let's actually go over here. I kind of like that there's like... These different viewports where you can watch from you can go all over this station. That is awesome. Let's stay up here for now. Uh, let me get a red one. Uh, sure. Then orange. Uh, oh, green. There we go. Blue and another green. Boom. Green here. Double orange. Yeah, now we can clean it up. Look at that. That is orange, I believe, and not red. Also, every color has, like, a different... Oh, come on. Ah! A different kind of texture. I cannot confirm this, but I would imagine even if you're colorblind, you probably should be able to uh, differentiate between the different orbs, because they are different textures. Which is a nice touch, you know? Because sometimes you kind of forget that there's people who, if it's only a color thing, have no chance of actually doing this. You know, there's often games that completely forget about this kind of stuff. And I do too, because, you know, I'm not afflicted with that, so... It sometimes slips your mind. But here, I just realized it's very nicely done with the, the different textures. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of difficult maybe to see it on the gun, I have to say that. So it's not 100% um, well done, I suppose, but well enough. Let's put it that way. Also, I have no idea where the other um, thingies are going when they go back there. Are they, are they already close to the portal? Maybe we should check. Oh, yeah, that was wrong. Oh! Damn it, that was wrong too. <laughs> uh, let's get the blue in between there. There's an orange we can do. There's a green one. Uh, more green back there. Let's do double red here. Orange, orange. More orange. Ba oh, that was terrible. Again. Oh, damn, I missed that that was green. <laughs> Okay, cool. Red. Let's do blue there. Clear up that one. Get that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, is there any good reds? No, but we can get that orange one. Oh, yeah, let's fireball this. You know what? Um, we'll actually change position here real quick. I want to see where all these things are going. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that! They progressed up to here now! That's kinda cool! Look at how many positions we can go to, to fight! That's awesome! I love that! 
Oh, that was a good combo. Just keep keep it going, keep it going. Uh yeah, we can do orange. Nice, the combos! Coming in hot and fast. Alright, let's get blue on this. Yeah! Fireball is ready again. Boom! Sweet! Oh, look at that combo! And now we can combo that one as well. Boom! Is that it? No, not quite. Okay. Okay. Um, well, now we just have to wait for them, I suppose. Let's get double red! Yeah, it's a very, very relaxing game. You kind of have to still, I guess, watch out what you're doing. But it's not like a high intense, you blink and you miss kind of game. Let's get rid of one of the green ones. Is there like a penalty to getting rid of shots just like that? I know in that older game I mentioned, the, the Buster Move game. When you shot um, just a block out into nothingness. If you did done it a few times in a row, it would kind of add another row of blocks, kind of like as a punishment. At least I think that's how it worked. So I guess here you can just shoot out into the distance to get rid of certain colors if you wish. But since it's random, it's not guaranteed to give you the correct color, of course. So uh, I would say let's do another set of levels and then have a conclusion. Okay, next. Level. Ooh, that looks fancy. These are orb monsters. Ohms. Defeat ohms by shooting them three times with any color. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah. You can instantly defeat an ohm by matching its color. Doing so will also fully charge your fireball. Shoot the green ohm with the green orb and launch your fireball at the blue one. This is called a chain attack. Pow, pow. Yeah! This is Gun... K gun... What was it called in Equilibrium? Gun Katana or something? Great, finish off the ohms to complete the tutorial. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah! Awesome! Well, okay, that, I said we do one more level, but that's not what I meant. <laughs> okay, so we have several ohms. Oh, they're coming at me! I have health. That is something new to me. Okay. Uh, let's blow up this one. Okay, we have red. Okay, we can defeat the red one to get a, a fireball charge. Kill that guy. Pow, pow, pow. Gangsta style, yo. Let's switch color, get this one instantly, blast this one in the face. Okay, we get, uh, hold on, a red one from here. Blast. Yeah! Let's see if we can get another red one. Yes, we can. Oh, missed the fireball. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, and we charge the fireball again. Another blue one, right in the face. Okay, so this is more of kind of like a battle now. I wonder if this is gonna be combined with the, the, the standard balls running around. Oh, well, let's see. Destroy all the orbs. I wanna go, okay, they're going down. Let me go like right here for now. That will cause a chain reaction. So will this. Noise. Uh, let's see, can we do that? And that. And that. Okay. We're doing good so far. 
Very good indeed. Oh, we can fireball something. Let's fireball these. Boom! We'll just keep cutting these off right here if we can. You know, so it won't progress any further. Oh, double blue. Well, we kind of progress them almost like manually in a way, but still. I think cutting them off right here is a good idea. There we can have the blue. Uh, let's see. No, no chain reaction there. Do that. That was a chain. Oh, that was a nice chain reaction. And now we can. Actually, let's clear that. Fireball these. And continue. Very nice. Clearing them all. One after another. Sweet. Uh, okay, let's clear both of these. We still have two green. Come on. Give me something else. Yeah, there we go. Still two green. Seems to like green for some reason. Chain reaction. Boom, boom. Oh, now they're... Okay. Oh, okay. They're over there now. Is that a new, like, stream? Or did they just continue from here on? I think they did. And since I killed the last one that were on the backside, they start moving now on their own. Which they normally wouldn't. But yeah. Oh. Pff. Under the leg. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. I know that. And I guess it, it counts how far things went before you killed the last one of them. And that's kind of like the amount of score you get. Which would make sense. Oh, yes. Destroy all orbs. Oh, cool. They're like in a ring formation. Oh, and the platform is like moving. Okay, I will report if that causes motion si- what the heck? If that causes motion sickness or not. Right now it's okay. Well, now I actually don't see the platform that much, but you know what I mean. Uh, let's get that. Oh, and now it's it's blocking it, actually. Oh! Oh! I hear bad guys! Oh, there he is! Ah, oh, what an annoying little bastard. Okay, so they definitely combined the nasty... Why is there three in a row that doesn't count? That's weird. Um, so they definitely combine the nasty monsters with the normal proceedings, which I like, I have to say. Let's get that, double of that. Uh, oh, damn it, I cannot see him. There we go. We have a fireball. Uh, oh, blue one. We can get instant fireball again. Sweet. Just have to check that I don't die. I think that's more important than the balls right now. I have the feeling. Let's get that. Yeah. Now we have green and green and orange. That should now combo. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Sure. Go. Get rid of that. Oh, I could have done this a bit more elegantly, but that's okay. Oh, I can fire through this. Is that... No, okay. So it was just at the edge where I could fire through it, apparently. But you can use it to get rid of certain bullets, I suppose. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> that was a terrible shot there, buddy. Now, this is, I think, the farthest point they uh, progressed so far. So I wonder if I kill these first and then basically go back. Will the high score count now from over there, essentially? You know what I mean? Yeah, it will. Okay, so it is better to kill the ones that advance the farthest and then work your way back. That is a better plan then. Also, have I said that I really like the environment? Everything looks so fancy and, and, and glowy and colorful. That's something I really like in VR games. Oh, now we have a double. 
Okay. Let's go. Let's go, guys. The double. Ah. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, okay. I just wanted to say, we need to work at both sides, obviously. But... Oh, orange. Orange is good. Uh... Yeah, okay. Let's work on here with green. I'm just trying to make that both of them kind of don't move. If I can do that. Okay, that will... Oh, okay, so they curve back over there. So we get, like, almost... Oh, a second chance. Can I get a green one? That would be nice. Green! And... Bow! Nice! Very nice indeed. Oh shit, I just got rid of a... Got rid of a, <laughs> an orange one, that was bad. Uh, I want to combo that orange over there, if I can. So we need another red one for that. Uh, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. Let's stop that. Oh, there we go! There is the combo. Good. That should combo as well. Uh, where? Oh, there's the orange one. Let's get rid of that. That's one color less to bother us. Because I think it kind of gets rid of all colors that are not on the board anymore. So you won't get these in your gun too. So right now I'm only getting blue and green. Yeah, there we go. So, oh, okay. So one portal can already finish up and the second one then start. Uh, can also finish up. We finished up later. That's kind of cool. Ding. Okay, one last level. Let's see. We do. A, we get a lot of score here. Boss battle, Alpha. You're heading into a boss battle. Alpha can only be harmed by fireballs. You can also interrupt Alpha's attack by hitting him with a fireball. OMBs are watching this battle. Maybe you can use them to charge your fireball. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I also guess... Okay, so I... Oh, that was... So I'm trying to get that, and then hurt him like that. Easy. Okay. So we move over to the OMB who we have the color from. Oh, that's not good. He's a, he's lasering. Oh, but there we go. We can break that attack. Now we're gonna charge our fireball again. Uh, there is a green one. Let's get that. Oh, shizzle. There's a blue one. Do we actually deal damage to him or... Uh, because right now it feels like I'm not. Yeah, okay. That is weird. Uh, blue one. Oh, okay, so I guess I have to break his shield with normal balls, and then... Oh, okay. That was interesting. Oh, I... Okay, let's get the orange one and hurt him. Boom! Right, that was good. There's a green one over there. Uh, shit. Okay, we got... I guess we have to now hit him with a green one. There we go. Oh, now I understand this this whole... Okay, that was... Wow, that, that was fast. <laughs> so he basically like, he ate, I think, three fireballs and that was it. But you have to know what you're doing. So essentially... Oh, my cursor is on the screen for some reason now. I don't know why that happened. Okay. Hold on. I cannot remove it now. What the heck? Okay, sorry for that cursor over there. Um, it seems like um, you have to really know what to do in boss battles, or otherwise you won't actually be able to hit him. So if he gets a red shield, heal him, hit him with a red orb, get one of the OMBs with the appropriate color and fireball his ass, and do this like three times and you win. Kinda easy, but you need to know what to do, so I like that. Um, so what can I say, you know, it, at the beginning it looked like a very simple puzzle game that we all kind of know from somewhere, but it, uh, it adds a bit of a, a bit of a nice touch to it, you know, with the 
the OMBs, the little ghosty things that you can shoot that attack you, so you have your own health that you need to defend. Then boss battles with like dodge mechanics and and uh, like a pattern kind of learning. I like that. That's a, a lot of interesting old concepts like mashed into like a new little ball and tossed into VR. It's all I need actually to be happy with. So uh, I like this one. Um, what else can I say? It's a beautiful, colorful, cool music. There's really not much to dislike about this one, I have to say. You know, it's not the most innovative thing, because it's not like a groundbreaking new concept, but it's, all, all, as I said, a whole bunch of old, interesting stuff mixed together, which I really like. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was VR Sunday. We've, we've been playing um, Gun Chain? No. Is it Gun Chain or is it Chain Gun? I always... Gun Chain, it is. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Take care.